So I have been a little remiss in opening up packages that have arrived here at the house. I, I've been just uh, distracted with other things, but I'm finally getting around to opening up various boxes that have arrived, things that I've purchased and also AOKs that have arrived here at the house. And I am sitting next to uh, five, five boxes that have shown up here that we are actually going to unbox right now. And I honestly don't know what's inside. And in some cases, I don't even know who sent them. The boxes are marked like A-OK -okay with like Premier Books and I have no clue what that is. Uh, but we are gonna unbox it. And if you are curious as to what's inside, stay tuned for the video. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, as you just heard in that intro, we are going to unbox a bunch of books. At least I think they're books, right? Uh, I believe that these are all AOKs that have arrived here at the house, and we're going to open them up. And I say believe because Sometimes I order things and, and I get them from different places and I forget uh, where I get them from and then they show up and I'm like, oh, I forgot I ordered that. Uh, and I've honestly been a little remiss in actually opening up packages that have come here to the house. We we have a whole routine where we try to you know disinfect and clean everything before it is actually introduced into the house. And then sometimes because of that, things sit a little bit longer and then you lose track of of what's what and so um if, if you have sent me an a-ok -okay and i have not yet unboxed it i definitely want to apologize to you uh, but hopefully you understand and just maybe what you sent is actually in the boxes off to my right and um i absolutely appreciate whenever uh, someone actually sends me something because people don't have to do that so i am very appreciative of those that have sent things in. Um, and I, I've somehow misplaced my box cutter, but thankfully I have a nice little supply of them. Uh, so we're actually gonna break out a new box cutter uh, because I cannot find the one that is normally kept on my desk. Uh, I have a feeling that my wife has appropriated that and it is elsewhere. But uh, we are gonna open up a couple of boxes here and we're gonna see what's inside and hopefully there's notes because not everything actually has a person's name on it. So uh, hopefully there are notes inside and if not, uh, again, uh, I wanna extend my thanks to those that have sent me something and if you did not put a note in the box and it is your A-OK, -okay, I definitely want you to send me a message or post it up in the comment section so that we can acknowledge that. So this first one is is one that I actually do know who this is. This actually called, came from Paul. Paul has, uh, Paul F has sent me a couple of things over the last several months. Super awesome guy. And so we are going to see what it is that he has sent over. And uh, he does have a note because I can actually see it right there on top. And we are going to see what he has put into this Gemini shipper that he has very nicely packaged. So definitely appreciate that. Nice pull tabs and everything. One of the great things is you can always fold over a piece of the tape so that it's, it forms a nice little pull tab. And that's just a nice touch. I, <laughs> I always appreciate that. So there is a note inside and let me scan it and make sure, okay, yeah, I can read this one. All right, so it says, uh, Dear Reggie, greetings once again from your fellow Michigander in Oregon. Enclosed is your signed book that I mentioned to you a few weeks ago, along with some bonus books just for fun. Red covers, you like red. I, I, I do like red. <laughs> An artist first and a saint. Feel free to retain, redistribute, or recycle. Uh, sign Paul. And uh, Paul is an awesome dude. Like I said, he has sent a couple of AOKs that I've absolutely appreciated. And there appears to be a sticker in here from Intel, which is cool. You guys probably will not be able to see that, but it is an Intel sticker right there on the inside. And I think Paul works for Intel, which is probably why he sent that. And if memory serves, he also sent me an Intel comic book, a last A-OK, -okay, which is which is also pretty cool because I did not know companies actually created comic books for employees. So I thought that was pretty cool. Intel inside. All right, so let's pull off these little pull tabs and see what it is that he sent. I think he said a signed book, an artist first, a... What did I do with the letter? A saint. 
make sure I got that right. A signed book, red covers, yes, and artist first, and a saint. And hopefully he labeled these because I will butcher them. Uh, the Grendel, Devil's Odyssey. I have not read any Grendel, so I may have to read this. Signed by Matt Wagner and Brennan Wagner. Uh, I think those, um, oh, we did talk about this. This is the um, the father and son. This is the father and son. Very cool. I think he sent me photos from the signing of this one. Grindle, I am going to have to read this one. I am going to have to read this. I have a graphic novel that is Grindle uh, that I haven't read. I just haven't gotten into it, but I might have to read this one. This is actually one of eight from Dark Horse. Again, Grindle, Devil's Odyssey, signed by the Wagner. So I'm going to have to check this out. I may read this one tonight just to see what that one's about. That's very cool. Let me see if I can find a good place because there's a lot of boxes over here, so I want to make sure I, um, oh man, free, uh, red cover, red free, it says free there, uh, Dark Knights, The Batman Who Laughs, Special Edition, Year of the Villain, that is actually pretty cool, gotta love those red covers, man, gotta love those, I think this is actually a, uh, almost like a medium red, I had a, um, 1965, uh, coupe, 289, uh, no, no, VA coupe, uh, Mustang that was medium red and uh, just a really really cool. I, I love all colors of red, really doesn't matter. If it's red, I am on board with that. That's a cool one. Oh no, J. Scott Campbell interior art. This must be, whoa, this is a nice one. This may be um, his first. I think I've seen this one before. This is cool. Jim Lee, Wills, Mark Silvestri, Scott Williams. And more, and the and more is J. Scott Campbell's. That is really cool. This is Homage Studio Swimsuit Special Number One. That's really cool. That is cool. I think I've seen this cover before, um, because I have uh, Savage Dragon Number One, which actually has a a little image that that uh, J. Scott Campbell actually did back in the day. And when we posted it up on Instagram, he actually confirmed that that was I think his first published work i don't it wasn't as a professional i think he was still an amateur but really really cool stuff this right here is awesome she has image earrings <laughs> and, and uh and uh homage studios uh bikini this is cool that's a cool cover right there that's awesome paul you hooked it up brother you hooked it up oh and the saint and the saint how about that it's a reader's copy the life of pope john paul the second he says it's a reader's copy that is, i did not know the pope had his own comic <laughs> how about that the entire story from his childhood in poland to the assassination attempt wow that's actually a pretty thick book too how many pages is that i mean that's a nice size book man that's cool that that's cool that this is a nice this is a nice a-okay -okay. sign book artist first a saint and just a, a cool red cover. That is awesome. And I am going to read uh, Grindle tonight. I am going to read this one tonight. I am, Because we are all in on shelter in place, I have nothing but time on my hand. So I may, I, I, not may, I am going to read this one tonight. So very cool. Paul, thank you very much, brother. I definitely appreciate it. All right, this next one. Um, this next one, I don't know where this is from. I don't, it's certified. And typically when it's certified, it's from outside the United States, but I don't think so. Maybe it's actually, uh, it actually says can, um, California. So I'm not quite sure what this one is. There is a note. Thank, thankfully, thankfully there is a note. All right, so let's open this one up. Sometimes those certified are from, uh, from outside the U.S. I just received a book from Mexico the other day that was also certified. So that's uh, maybe why I was hearkening back to that. So a nice little bundle here. Uh, oh, I think I remember this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember this. Uh, Mario. There we go. Mario's Hiking Adventure. That's who sent this one. Uh, he is a YouTuber. His YouTube is Mario's Hiking Adventure. His name is Mario. He says, Dear Reggie, thanks for doing this for me and what you do for the comic book community. I have added an A-OK -okay for your pleasure. The only comic that needs signature. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. I was thinking completely different. Um, 
I read that. I was reading this one wrong. Uh, is the ASM comic. Everything else is the AOK. Hope you enjoy it the way that I did. All right. So uh, I thought that this was a, a package that someone was sending me to actually pass back to the comic book community. This one is actually uh, someone that reached out to me and actually asked me to sign a book. And so uh, I've done it in the past. It's not something um, that I do a lot of, um, but because the person asked, I wanted to uh, to go ahead and take care of it. So it is the ASM. Let me make sure. The only comic that needs signature is the ASM comic, which I think is this one, which makes sense. It is, and I, I think I have this one. This is the official Marvel Index to the Amazing Spider-Man issue number three. I, Mario, I need a signature window. I don't know where you want me to sign. <laughs> I may actually send him a message to ask him where he wants me to sign because I'm not sure where I should put it. I'll, I'll have to think about that. I have to find a spot uh, to, to actually put it. Maybe I'll put it up here. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know about signature placement. We're going to put this one. Yeah, I'll put that one up there so we don't confuse that. I'm going to put that with his note so that we don't forget it and so these are the ones that are a-okay and it is uh johnny blaze ghost rider number one this was i think free comic book day i think oh yeah hollywood holly um halloween comic fest giveaway i think this was sponsored by diamond i did not pick this book up but i remember seeing it i remember seeing that snot girl i've never <laughs> i've never heard of that I've never heard of that. Her tissue are called booger, booger wipes. I've never seen this one. This is Snot Girl, uh, number one from 2006. That is quite a cool cover. And he has blue painter's tape. You can't beat that. Uh, here is issue number two. I've never seen these before. But these are cool. These are cool. She has green hair. I think there's a YouTuber with green hair. Number three right there. Actually, I take that back because I think she just shaved her head. Uh, here is issue number four. Her snot that comes out of her nose matches her hair. <laughs> and then here is issue number five. So there you go. Little, little snot girl and also some ghost rider. So Mario, brother, thank you very much for the AOK. -okay. I am going to sign... I am going to sign your book and I will bundle it up tonight and get it mailed out to you just as soon as I can. Uh, and again, thank you for, you know, asking me to, to sign a book. I think that's definitely cool. So I will take care of that um, and I will get it sent back out to you. So this next one uh, comes from Robert. This comes from Robert. And I don't know if Robert is the subscriber or the person that the subscriber bought the book from. So hopefully, hopefully again, there is a, uh, a note inside of this one that this book is, this box is taped up pretty well. Um, hopefully there's a note inside that will give me some context for this one. So I'm gonna try to cut this thing open and we are gonna see what kind of magic is on the inside of this one. All right, got that open, all right. Let's open this up. Make sure I don't drop anything. And there was a note right there. That's why I always try to check the box. Sometimes, sometimes the notes get separated. All right, so there's some bubble wrap here. I'm going to peel a little bit of that off. All right, and then we're going to check out this note and see what it says. Oh, from EE, e. from EE e. Nick. There we go. He says, sorry for the handwriting. <laughs> All right, this is from EE. E. Um... Thanks for all that you do for the community. It's a pleasure to be able to be part of the comic book Swolja fam. I know you like Philadelphia, so keep this copy if you feel uh, like it and don't have it um, and don't have it yet. The rest disperse to the community if you want. The slab is intended as a second or third place for the weekly contest. Thanks again. There you go. E.E. -E. We got it. So let's open this up and see what's inside. And we will definitely be, and that's a nice bubble wrap. I'm going to separate that because that needs to uh, be recycled. You, you can never have too much uh, good bubble wrap. You, you cannot. You cannot. So we're going to save this bubble wrap and, uh, and repurpose this 
when I mail these books back out to somebody else. All right, so that, that's good stuff. We're going to put that off to the side. All right, so let's see what EE, a.k.a. Nick, has sent over for the comic book community. All right, let's separate this out. We put a nice couple of bags on it. That was nice. Oh, that's cool. And this this is like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what he sent over here in a, uh, in a slab right here is... X-Force number 11. This is the first appearance of the real Domino. So there you go. You are getting a preview. I don't know if it'll be a preview by the time you see it. I may actually have already given it away as part of the weekly giveaway. Depends on the timing. Uh, so maybe. Maybe this is a preview. Maybe this book is already gone. Either way, EE, -E, aka Nick, I appreciate you, brother, sending this over. And we will definitely get that shipped out to someone as part of second place. For the weekly giveaway that we do sponsored by the folks over at go collect all right so we've got this separated he put some nice painters tape on there painters tape makes everything so much easier especially when we're unboxing live so there is one that is here that is in a mylar we are going to peel off the painters tape and we're going to see what's inside I do not have one of these books that I just saw on the very top right here, but I have spent uh, sent out a couple of AOKs to people uh, just this past week, and uh, because of what EE is doing right now, we may be sending out a couple more AKs. I'm sorry, AOKs. Um, bundle these right back up and ship them right back out to someone else out there that might be looking for some reading materials. Oh, that's, uh, uh, yep, there we go. Had to separate that. All right, so we got that separated. All right, so let's see what he has put in here. Uh, the first one is The Crow, Hark the Herald. This is The Crow. Uh, it's a one-shot. Uh, yep, I thought it was a number up there. It just, just says uh, 20 years of IDW. Never seen that book before. I don't think I've ever actually held a Crow comic book before. So really cool. Really cool cover. It's a shame about uh, Brandon Lee. Huge fan of his father. Very, oh, that's cool. Here is um, local comic book, comic shop day. This is uh, Absolute Carnage. It's a variant. Number five. I've never seen that cover before. That is very cool. There's a lot of Carnage fans out there, and I'm certain that someone's going to appreciate that. Here is a square bound copy uh, issue. I don't know what issue number this is. The Alien, Walking Dead, uh, Brian K. Vaughn. I don't know what issue number this is, but it's a nice square bound. That's cool. He paid a nice little chunk of money for that, too. Walking Dead, Alien number one. There you go. That's what this is. Very cool. And uh, I do not have this cover. I do not. This is nice. This is cool. I may, I may hold on to this one. I am because I am a fan of Philadelphia by Rodney Barnes. I actually have a lot of these books. I've been reading it since um, I want to say maybe issue two. Went back, got issue one. Then I've been reading it ever since. But I do not think that I have this cover. I'll have to check. But if I don't, I may hang on to this one because Philadelphia is it's a cool read. If you guys have not read it, it's about vampires. I won't give it away. Uh, it's about a father and son and some vampires and some other stuff. But uh, definitely a cool read. So uh, EE, -E, Nick, brother, I definitely appreciate it. This is cool. I have not seen this cover before, I don't think either. That's cool. A couple of really cool things. And again, these items will be passed back to the comic book community in a timely fashion. Let me put this with his bundle. I try not to um, to get things too separate if I can because it actually I need to put it with the slab because that'll that'll throw me off. Um, all right, so we have two more big boxes here, and these actually come from Premier Books in Romulus, Michigan. And I am from Michigan. This actually is really interesting because one box says A O K from. The other box says from Silva. And so I'm guessing that this is an A-OK -okay from Silva. So let's open up the first part. The first part is the one that says A-OK -okay from. So let's go ahead and open this one up and then we'll see what's inside and then we'll open up the other. And again, I think this might be one of the cases where someone has uh, you know, sent something to me by way of. And so we'll see what's up that. 
Okay, that could be interesting. Let's see what this is. Ah, oh, get this open. I think I think this is gonna be pretty cool. That's cool. That is cool, man. Wow. It is a poster portfolio from DC by my man Jim Lee. How cool is that? 20 removable po Oh man. They have the Hush. They have a couple of the Hush covers on here. They have the trilogy, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. A super dope Joker. Man, this is cool. Batman Dam's on here. This is, there's flat. Look at this. This is really cool. DC Comics presents the, the artwork of superstar illustrator Jim Lee featuring 20 of his most stunning pieces starring some of the greatest superheroes and supervillains in comics history. There were, there were a lot of adjectives in there. Uh, from Batman to Superman to Wonder Woman, the art collection in this poster showcases, show a book showcase is perfect for framing and display. How cool is that? That is awesome. It's, it's actually heavy cardstock too. This is really nice. Silva. This, bro, this is dope. This is cool. I did not know such a thing even existed. This is really cool. I can't wait to, should I open it? Should I take it out of the plastic? Or should I keep it in the plastic? Decisions, decisions. One day I could meet Jim and have Jim sign. Decisions, decisions. This is cool. This is, this is cool. If, if you did not know by the silly grin on my face, I like some Jim Lee. <laughs> that is, that is cool. That is cool. Wow. All right, so let's open up this um, the second one. I think this this box. I I think these boxes have been sitting here, man, for maybe maybe a week and a half. Um, and who knew who knew this goodness was inside? All right, so let's rotate this way. All right, uh, there is. It looks like there's another one. It looks like there's two. It looks like there's two. Oh man, I can't get this one. I wonder if one of these is intended for me to give away. I wonder. If you sent this to me, I need you to tell me what these are about. There's there's two of them in here. It is like two times the pleasure. Look at this. Look at that. There was a lot of noise from the cardboard falling. That is really cool. I had no clue what was inside of these. These are, I have 40 dope posters. <laughs> this is really cool. All right, so... Um, Silva, uh, EE, e., and who was the other? Uh, Paul, thank you. All three of you, thank you very much for these awesome AOKs for me and then also for the comic book community. I am probably going to shut this camera off and first, I'm going to take a look at those posters. Uh, second, I am probably going to bag up and box up a couple of AOKs to keep all of this stuff moving forward. You guys know how it is. Uh, you know, you 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 let too much work builds up on you and you never quite get to it. So I'm I'm going to try to just keep it moving forward. I'm gonna also read the Grindle tonight. So I think I have a pretty uh, good night ahead. But again, I wanna thank all of you for sending me these awesome AOKs. I am very appreciative. And to all of you out there watching this video right now, I wanna say thank you for taking the time to, to watch it. Uh, I apologize for the silly grin that I sometimes get on my face when I open up really cool stuff. Uh, but I, I honestly, I honestly enjoy this hobby, right? I enjoy this hobby. I enjoy, uh, you know, experiencing things kind of sort of with you guys, right? Um, th this is what makes it really fun for me. So I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I definitely want to encourage you to hit the thumbs up to leave a comment behind. If you are watching this video and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I definitely want to encourage you to do so. That way you get to, you know, join me every couple of days to do some cool stuff and some unbox some stuff and talk about comics. But I want to thank you guys. And if you need me, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care.